Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Eco Yogi Living. Uh, today's class or this video is going to be about releasing pain in our hips or tightness in our hips. And probably, as you know, our hip tightness uh, can be due to two main factors. Either that our muscles are simply contracted and too tight, or we have uh, no flexibility or not enough flexibility in our lower back. So sometimes the tightness or the tension that you're feeling in your hips might not actually come from the tension or tightness of your hip flexors, but it might come from your lower back. And of course, this is due to our sedentary lifestyle, but it can affect people from office workers to athletes or professional sportsmen. So today we are going to focus on our main muscles, uh, that are surrounding our hip flexors and let's get into it So we are going to start on our back and we are going to plant our palms next to our buttocks and Try to draw both of our knees to our chest and We're going to place our hands on our knees and slowly Try to circle and draw circles with our knees. So this exercise is really perfect if your hip tightness does come from your lower back, uh, from stress built up in your lower back or around your um, pelvis. Because this kind of movements applying pressure on our muscle groups can really release tension and just simply we are beautifully massaging back our muscle fibers to the places where they actually should be. If you feel like it feels good to stay in one pose, just stay there and you can also swing from right to left a little bit and just really feel out that release, that pain or tension release, or simply this massage just feels good. And when we are done with our circles, we lower our knee, our legs down, and we take our right knee towards our chest. And you should keep your legs active, both legs are active, so we are stabilizing our muscles, we are stabilizing our joints and we are pulling that knee towards our chest. And this depends where you are today. Try to keep your shoulders down on the mat and just really try to pull your, your knee towards the middle of your chest. If you are more flexible, you can also try to pull your knee more to the side body. And remember, legs are active, the toes are pointing towards our shin bones, and we are really pushing that opposite leg down. This is how we create the opening in our groins and in our hips. And of course, again, if you want to massage a little bit your hip flexor here, this is the perfect moment to do so. You can draw circles, or you can just limp simply Swing a little bit your knee, right and left. And now we are going to release the right leg down. We come up with the left leg, same thing. Our toes are active, continuously active. We are trying to draw our shoulder blades down. We are trying to draw our knee towards our midline. If we are in a better place today, we can draw the knee more towards our side body. Or we can simply again try to draw circles with our hands. It's very important to, to keep the, the right leg on the floor and if you feel like you are, if you, if you lift your right leg for example 
and you're able to pull your knee more towards your your side body or more towards your chest but when you lower down your leg and you kind of lose out of that out of that flexibility that can also suggest that instead of having tight hips you are simply having tight quads so if you would like to to give a little bit of moisture and loosen up your quads you can visit my page and follow my next video that is going to be on quad and hamstring release and if we are good with a massage here we simply release our leg back down and now we are going to cross our right leg over our left heel left knee sorry we plant our palms next to our hips and we try to pull our left leg up high and we release on an inhale we pull it up exhale release inhale we pull it up exhale release inhale up exhale release we are also working a little bit on the lower abdomen because our lower abdominal muscles are strongly connected to our pelvis so if you have an anterior pelvic tilt strengthening your lower abdominal muscles is really crucial to fix that condition and on the next inhale we simply keep it here we try to interlace our fingers behind our knee or if we want a deeper stretch we can try to pull with one hand our left leg towards our core and just push away with our right hand our right knee and like this we are creating a deeper stretch in our hip our knees because of the active legs we have active legs our toes are pointing towards our shin our knees are isolated they are fixed and we cannot get injured it's all about the hip work you can push it away with a little bit of pulsating movement. And on an exhale, we release back down. We are going to cross our left leg over our right knee. Again, palms are planning down. And on an inhale, we draw it up in a 90 degree circle. We exhale release inhale up exhale release inhale up exhale release inhale up exhale release inhale up and of course if it's too much for your lower abdomen this work you can just simply stop at the top interlace your fingers behind your femur and try to really pull this leg inwards pull this leg towards your core or again you can just grab your your femur with your right hand with your thigh the back of your thigh and just gently push away your left knee with your left hand again we can use the pulsating movements here our legs are active the toes are pointing towards our shin And it should feel good and it should feel intense. You're working on the interior hip flexors now and also on our psoas, which is running towards our up lower back. So this hip extension is not only for your hips but also for your lower back. That's the beauty. And on an exhale, we release. And now we come up to all fours, kind of, and we create a 90 degree angle with our left leg and we send our right leg out more in a 110 degree angle. And on an inhale, we are in the middle. On exhale, we try to lower it down. 
you can keep your hand on your waist and you can keep your other hand on your knee to try to pull yourself up a little bit but if you are strong and you really want this to be a good hip work for you then you simply use that power in your inner thighs and just draw yourself up here our spine is straight and we're really deepening into this here and we draw it up for one last time and we exchange legs so again we come in a 90 degree angle here the left leg is on a 100 degree angle and we are lowering it down slowly but surely and whenever you feel that it's too too tight or you cannot go lower just stay wherever you are this is a progress and tight hips are a result of years and years of tension and certain choices or certain circumstances in our lives. So just be patient because opening them up takes time. And you know, it's always worth just thinking and considering that all the tightness that builds up in our lower abdominal and lower back area, including our hips, is or can be usually a sign of also emotional retention. So if you feel like there is some emotional work that you can do there, it's worth considering. And now we pull it up and we come back into the middle. And I'm going to turn a little bit so we can all see this. We are going to mobilize our hips. So we are here in a straight back position. We are kind of flexing our arms forward. So we're also strong in the arms. And on exhale, we send our hips back. On inhale, we thrust forward. Send it back, thrust forward. Send it back, thrust forward. And of course, if, you're, if you feel like you need a little bit of knee support here, then feel free to bring a blanket and just support yourself. Because support is very, very important. And we are really thrusting forward. Whenever you thrust forward, you should feel a little bit of tension coming out of the groin area we are lubricating our joints and one last time we thrust forward and now we are going to come into a squat well this can be a simple squat trying to lower your knees or it can be a yogic squat, bringing your hands to the heart and trying to push back on your knees. But if it's a simple squat and you feel like you need a little bit of support, you can grab a black block or even two blocks, whatever, wherever you are today, really. It's, it's totally up to you. And just try to sit in this squat. Try to be here. And after a while, you can feel how the muscles in your shin bone are burning a little bit. And actually squatting is a position that a lot of people find comfortable. But if you're not used to squatting, then this can be a little bit challenging for you and that's okay. So either a normal squat or a yogic squat for a bigger hip opening and we're trying to keep our spine really really straight here 
because we are not collapsing in between our legs. That's not the point. The point is that we are creating strength and this pose also creates strength in your back because you're holding yourself up. Your back muscles are working now. And we are here for about 15 more seconds and now you should really feel the burn in the front of your shin. And slowly we are going to heel toe, heel toe outwards a little bit and try to lift up from our pelvis. And we come into a quite wide squat. We place our hands on our inner thighs, just right next to our knees. And we try to drop our shoulders down. And this is not only a great exercise for opening our hips and strengthening our pelvic floor, strengthening our inner thighs, but it's also a great exercise for back pain. We're moving our shoulders here also. So it's really an all-in-one. You can also come a little bit higher if you feel that this is very too intense. Or if you are used to goddess pose in yoga, you can definitely come even lower. And just use this opportunity to use the natural movement of the body and the natural structure of the body to open through your hips. And slowly we release, we straighten our legs, we heel toe, heel toe. We come into a squat one more time and we simply Lay back down on our backs. We open our legs a little bit wider. Also our hands. And it's time to rest now. And time to observe what just happened to us and to our hips the last few minutes. And of course, you can stay here as long as it feels good. And I really hope that this video and these practices helped you to open your hips a little bit more. Uh, definitely more videos are coming on this topic because it's such an important, such an important topic and so many people are looking for relief in their hips. So I'm very, very grateful that you practiced with me today and just keep up with the practice. Uh, watch the video more times and you will see that every day you're going to witness progress.